Well, we've got the FX Dreamline in 22, Shorty in 30. We got the skinny guy over here. And we are set up in a very cramped space looking at a ton of wood shucks. We're gonna make a day of it. We came out Steve's way and uh, it's gonna be interesting. We're going low power, no slugs, no space for it. The following is a list of companies that we've been using since the very beginning. And now they actually help us provide some of this content for you guys. We'd love it if you would show them some support. Perfect. Perfect. There's four of them down there. There's one of them over there. It's killing Steve. <laughs> They're just cars behind everything. That was a big one right there standing up. There's that no one. way we could take that shot. Seven. And there's no way they'll walk out over into the field here. So it just kind of is what it is. For so long until we change position to get a different safer angle on them. Yeah. The only reason they're safe is because Keith and I are here. They're stopping, that, that's the truth, they're stopping me. <laughs> they're stopping me from pulling the trigger. Stop. Safety first. Oh, that sounded good. That's how you do that. <laughs> oh, he dead dead. That sounded real good, buddy. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I got my back to him and uh, <laughs> smashed him pretty hard. Whack. Oh, I just I saw heard a drop. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He just fell over. Oh, I heard the foam. <laughs> How far was that? Nice. A uh, hundred on the money. And what'd you dial it to? 101. Awesome. And I was not all that steady because I could see it in here. Lisa stole the knob for our. Uh -huh. Oh, it's still. <laughs> but hey. Good shot. Thanks, man. So I was just asking Keith why this one in particular field holds so many woodchucks. Oh, yeah, and they don't in the and, other field. Yeah, in the other fields, there's not that many because there's about 30 in this one little field right here. Yeah, it's. In my experience, anyway, it's more about so, you know soil type. They want like a certain mix of sandy loam and gravel that locks up their holes when they dig, so that they don't cave in. Like I have a ton of woodchucks on my property, and there's farmers, you know, just a couple miles over that have none, and uh, it's because they have clay and like straight clay soil. Woodchucks don't like digging in it, so it's just one of those things. If you have the right soil type, you almost can't get rid of them and if you have the wrong soil type you could bait them in and they won't come and stay it's interesting and you were saying it doesn't really even matter what type of crop they have grown there yeah and i've seen them in soybeans corn alfalfa hay it's just all about is the digging good and then when they dig a hole is it going to stay like they made it and uh, as long as those soil conditions exist There's going to be plenty of woodchucks. Yeah. <laughs> so does it matter if you shoot a woodchuck and it goes back down the hole? Is that going to scare others out? No. Not in my experience anyway. All right. Perfect. Yeah. And, you know, if there's multiples in the hole, they're going to come back out no matter what. Hopefully in rapid succession so you can... And even if it does scare them out of the hole, I mean, yeah, great. they're That's... just, they're going to go 20 feet and make another hole and make that their home. Pretty much. Smoke another one here at 66 yards. Oh, <laughs> he skull. just went. Think. That was a skull crushing shot. <laughs> Bye. 
this is fun guys <laughs> yeah i just want to say uh, thanks to steve he uh did a lot of work this last week um a lot of footwork running getting all this permission from all these Pretty places up here yeah i've never uh, seen anyone gather permission so quickly oh yeah and like one day he had <laughs> like four permissions for big farms and, and like, other so places basically where we are we can go in any direction we want and just kill and shoot and hunt yeah it's that's awesome we we have a john deere dealership that we can go in and shoot woodchucks out of yeah that's crazy. crazy and that's the hardest permission to get like it's one thing to get it out of a farm no no that was the easiest <laughs> one i basically said kill woodchucks he's like yes take them all take them all i would and he took me around the dealership and showed me the holes and the ones he specifically wanted dead now is that only after business hours yeah yeah, yeah. that makes sense <laughs> Why? Doesn't want the customers watching? No, no. And, and believe it or not, oh my god, there's five. Is that five? <laughs> That's four oh or god. five. It's like an infestation. Yeah, look at four down there. Steve is going crazy because there's like four or five so, running around like crazy down there. With, without giving too much of this, you know. Because the John Deere dealership does want a bit of am, 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 anonymity. Anonymity. Yeah, what, anonymity. what he said. They want anonymity. Yeah, so I went in and the, the guy goes, oh, so, you know, you, with air guns, like, Ted's holdover. <laughs> that blew me away first off. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, Ted Deere. So then I go, I open up and I show him the gun. Oh, you got an FX. Like, was, this this guy's a bro. Yeah, he was, he was hook, line, and sinker yeah. as soon as so someone says oh like Ted you're like this is gonna work out yeah <laughs> he didn't say like Keith or Norm nah I mentioned you guys his name and he was like who the hell is just that? looked yeah, dumbfounded he's like, he's like come on guys <laughs> well I guess he's not as smart as we thought he was <laughs> <laughs> there goes Keith and Steve the guy over there wants them to come sneak across the field must be one on the other side of that knob that we can't see. Looks like he's just got to get the right angle because uh, there's a building down to the left of us. So I'm sure he just wanted to get a different angle. I don't know what it is, but of course his gun is sitting down there under the table and he's got one of mine again. <laughs> Somehow he always tends to sneak one of my guns away. I'm going to get trigger recognition done on all my guns that they'll only fire <laughs> when they're in my hands. <laughs> so Every time Keith grabs one and runs with it, it's not going to go off. Good to go. Oh, oh yeah. Cranking. Yeah, he's all done right in his ear. There's blood coming out of his ear like crazy. Dead. Got him. Dead. Yeah. All right, so we got this one. This really one. pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous pelt. And then check this out. You don't see that very often. Is now, now wait a second, wait. One, two, is this a third? No, I think that's a hind leg, he's folded. Yeah. Yeah. They're like pushing past each other to come out. That's unbelievable. There's not a third one down there, is there? Stick your hand down and find out. No, I don't think so. I don't know if we shot any of this one. Yeah, well, it's hard to tell. There were five over here, four, four minimum. 
and I think we've killed every single one so far. Oh, sorry guys, we've never seen anything like this before. All Carrying right. these over. So I just did this, all right, dude? I yeah. pulled this guy out, right? And what's there? Another wood <laughs> Another. <shot. laughs> we keep thinking it's the same ones. Like, Look at these guys. This and is... this was, this isn't even all of them. This is like a fourth of them <laughs> in three hours. Unbelievable day. How many more. are stacked? We gotta go check some other holes. Here comes these two guys. Oh. The buddy. Sorry I stole shorty from you, but our permission just went from us sitting here hunting the field adjacent to the cemetery. Yeah. So now we can roam wherever we want and we can shoot in the cemetery. Oh nice. I think we smashed like four. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we're just walking. We're stalking them at this point. It's going to push us to the right just a little bit, if anything. Can't go a lot. If we are oh, on the car. Hold, hold, hold. Okay. We got it back to me anyway. Done. Back in the head. I see your guy's signal. Any wind you think, bud? Nope. I'm going for his head. Oh! Half an hour only. That time he's definitely dead. I think you probably got him on that first one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one popped up on the side of him. Yeah. Both there. Oh, that's his tail. Dad. What's him? Wait, maybe one. I got a grass. One. Key set up a one at one uh, twenty-four here. See if I can zoom him in. You on him? Uh, I'm on the hole. Am I clear? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, it sounded head. like it. Could you Looks see like through the scope, bud? Looked like it threw him down the hole or he jumped before he got there. I couldn't oh, tell. Really? No, I heard it. Oh, I heard. You didn't hear the hit? Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, heard, I got helicopter ears, brother. Oh, man, I heard it. <laughs> you hear a Blackhawks kind of takes your hearing away. <laughs> yeah, true. It looked like it just tossed him straight down the hole. Really? No wind at all needed. I'd just like to let everybody know that there was a beautiful opportunity at a woodchuck. I don't know if it was beautiful. It was a good opportunity at a woodchuck and uh, someone made a wind call. Uh -huh. Me, myself, I would have given it zero wind. Keith's like, ah, put it about six feet in front of its face. Who was on the trigger, Steve? Were you on the trigger? You know Did what, you though? the ultimate decision? Uh, <laughs> always trying to pass the buck. Always he is. You buck. know what? No, no. Just He's you what always trying I to win. Every single time you've called win for me, I've missed the target. That's interesting. So you would think if you were smart enough. <laughs> oh, here it comes now. Here it comes now. Keith would call win. You do like, the total opposite. Strictly cannot learn this lesson, folks. <laughs> oh, so it's a, it's a teaching opportunity, a is teaching what it is. Yes, yeah. I hate you guys so much. Some students are faster than others. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> you guys. It's gotta be. I don't think it is. What? I think it's just leaf. Leaf in the shed.
Well, this little baby has done amazing today. Did a good job today, baby. You like that, right? I love it. Done so much. <laughs> it's so cool looking with that little stubby bottle and everything. I'm telling you. And uh, Steve says that we have a pigeon property to go to. A llama and emu farm with a bunch of other weird animals on it. All right. Well, I'm going to pack up here. Yeah, man. It's getting hot. I think we got enough destruction here. Yeah. In your best estimate, how many would you say we've killed? I would say somewhere, somewhere around 17. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of them... They just get down the hole so fast, yeah. you knock them back down. They get those vertical holes. Yep. There's not much you can do. You hit them in the head and they just fall. So, pretty good though. Yeah. Norm, you look hot. And we're in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go sweat our you know what's off at the llama place. All right. <laughs> We ended up getting so much footage that the llama place will actually have to wait until next week. That's not a bad thing. And here come those slow-mo replays I know you've been missing the whole time. Perfect. Three, two, done, done, done. <laughs>